had to ice it, I had to take Tylenol, like it was like actually the most dramatic piercing I ever had. Through the wastelands, through the highways, to my shadow, through the sun rays, and on and on we'll go. Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be talking all about piercings. So if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead, click the subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. So let's go ahead and get started. Most of my piercings are on my ears. Actually, all of my piercings are on my ears. I used to have my belly button pierced, but that's a whole nother story time that I'm gonna do a story on pretty soon. But um, I just got my helix re-pierced on this ear, so I just thought I would do a video talking about all my piercings. I'm definitely not done getting piercings. I'm not done piercing any of my ears yet. I decided to do this video now because I feel like I have enough piercings to do this video to give you guys a little bit of an idea. So I do have four on this side and four on this side, and those include um, like my lobes. I'm definitely going to be doing another video talking about the piercings that I do want to get in the future because there is a lot there's a few so um, I guess that we could get started with this ear I will try to zoom you guys in hopefully oh yeah my conch is like this um, earring that I have inside my conch it just it kind of like flips over a little bit once in a while and gets kind of crooked and let's talk about my piercings so I do on this side have my two low piercings I have my conch and I have my daith as well that's the inner one the daith is the one that I do want to change the jewelry on I upgraded all of my jewelry probably like about a month ago so yeah, that's what this ear is looking like. I love the way it looks so far. I'm definitely going to be adding more piercings though. I want an industrial on this side as well as maybe like the uh, midway helix. So my very first piercings were my lobes. Obviously, like most people get their lobes pierced first. So I got those done. Not these ones that I have right now, but I did get that done when I was about three years old. And I remember the whole experience because it was so traumatic. I feel like most of my friends at that age, um, the other toddlers that my mom used to like socialize me with, they all had their ears pierced. So I just really wanted mine done too. And I would look at my mom's earrings and I'm like, oh, they're so pretty, they're so sparkly. I wanna get my ears pierced too. And my mom wanted to originally pierce me when I was a baby, but my dad said no. So um, she waited until I was like three years old, three and a half, I guess. I wanted them healed for like my birthday, my fourth birthday, I guess. So she took me to the mall. We did not go to Claire's because she just thought that Claire's was kind of a little bit dodgy and um, a lot of people got their ears pierced at Claire's. So she's like, I kind of want to go to a place that doesn't do a lot of piercings because it'll be more clean. I, I don't know. So she took me to a hair salon and I remember picking out my earrings. I picked out these red studs and I hate the color red. I don't know why I would have ever picked red studs, but at that time, those were my favorite color. And the girl expected me to pick like purple or pink or something like that. And she's like, red, are you sure you want red? I'm like, yeah, I want red. I remember crying after the first one. So obviously I got them pierced with a gun. I got them pierced at a salon. So after the first one, I was just crying. I was so over it. I was covering my other ear. I'm like, no, 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 don't do it. But um, I was like, okay, fine. So at the time that I was getting them done, it was I was such a drama queen. So it was like probably a 10 out of 10. So painful to me at that time, right? Because I've never have, because I never knew what to expect. I never had a piercing before. My dramatic ass was just crying and crying and crying and crying. And I remember my ears got so 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 infected and honestly the type of jewelry that the salon used what type of jewelry do you think salons would use for for piercing ears i don't even know a salon like a hair salon that does piercings in the first place so the earrings that i had in my ear they turned black within like a couple days of my mom like putting salt water rinses on my ears and they got infected 
my like the piercing like the the backing of it turned completely black i guess it had some sort of like lead or iron or something i don't even know what type of metal was in that jewelry but it was horrible so my ears were swollen red irritated infected and the jewelry was turning black so my mom just decided i'm gonna take them out and you can get them re-pierced at another time i ended up having like scar tissue on my ears and i was so terrified to get them re-pierced again and I didn't end up getting them done until I was 14. So I got them done again with a gun. My mom took me to a jewelry store this time because she just came to the conclusion that I was probably allergic to the type of metal they pierced me with. She wanted me to get jewelry that was either white or yellow gold. I ended up getting white gold. So we went to a jewelry store and again, they pierced me with the gun. And this time one ear was fine. The other one, they, like the gun sort of got stuck in my ear the jewelry got like stuck on the gun. I don't even know what happened but one of my piercings one of my low ones are kind of slanted so putting studs into my ears is kind of painful sometimes also I did have some scar tissue left over when they pierced them when I was 14 like years and years later like 10 years later so I do I do feel like those were a little bit more painful than like for most people so that was Probably at the time when I was 14 and I got them re-pierced, it was probably like a 4 out of 10 for me. So then moving up, um, I do have my second lobes pierced on both sides. I do want to add a third lobe piercing probably sometime this year, but that one was probably like a 3. These ones I did get pierced with a needle and I got them pierced at a piercing shop here and they totally ripped me off. So they charged me for like to do both sides. They charged me separately so I ended up paying like $150 or more to get my seconds done. So it was such a rip off but I don't go to that piercing shop anymore. So hopefully my third low piercings, if I do both sides, it doesn't cost that much. I'm really, really hoping that it doesn't because that was ridiculous. So that was about a three out of 10. So moving on, I'm gonna talk about my conch one. So I did a whole series on like more of my interesting piercings, like, you know, my tragus, my conch, my date. I did separate videos on talking about the experience and talking about, you know, the healing process and whatnot. So my conch was actually the easiest one to heal out of all of my like weird quirky piercings, I guess, like piercings that not a lot of people have. So my conch one was definitely the easiest one to heal out of all of them. I also went to a really good piercer for that one. I went to a shop that only sells titanium jewelry. So they got the bar size right. They gave me like an extra long bar to allow for swelling. So it was super comfortable, easy to clean and all of that stuff. That one scared me the most because it's on a thicker piece of cartilage. So when I got that one done, I was a little bit a little bit scared. It was probably like a 5 out of 10 on the pain scale. It wasn't terrible, but I definitely felt it. But yeah, it wasn't terrible. It throbbed for like a few hours after and then it was fine. Actually, I accidentally fell asleep on that ear like a couple days after I got it pierced and it was throbbing for a bit, but I cleaned it super well and it healed completely fine. It healed within i want to say like three months three to four months it healed pretty fast and yeah it's one of my favorite piercings i definitely don't regret it at all i got this pierce i originally wanted it to have like a hoop jewelry in it but i do like this cluster like the way the cluster looks you can actually get a double conch you can get one on top of the other which looks awesome so i might do that on my right side but yeah i love that piercing healed the best definitely don't regret it at all and I'm gonna be talking about my date next. So that one did not hurt at all. It was probably uh, maybe like a three out of 10. I did feel a little bit of yanking in it. That one I actually filmed. The conch one, I went to a shop, like I said, it was very like specialized and she didn't feel comfortable being filmed, piercing my ear. So for the date one, the piercer was completely comfortable being filmed while he was piercing it. And so that one I gave like a, either like a two or a three out of 10. Uh, the only time I really felt it was, you know, when they like put that retainer in your ear, like the, the thing that looks like a big long needle when they leave that in your ear and then they put the jewelry in and they kind of have to finesse it because that is such a weird piece of cartilage. It's not straight, obviously. It's like, 
curved if that makes sense so i have like a horseshoe bar in there right now i think it looks so ugly that's the original jewelry i got pierced with i was definitely wanting to change that into a heart jewelry but the piercing shop that i normally go to only has like white gold or rose gold or something like that and the jewelry is pretty expensive so that's the only reason why i haven't changed it but that was either a 2 or 3 out of 10 on the paint scale. It wasn't terrible. It bled everywhere when I got it pierced. That one I got pierced back in 20... I think 2017 as well. I was so scared that that one would hurt because it's just in such a weird place in your ear and it's like curved, right? So I thought it would be more painful than it was, but it was definitely like a 2 or 3 out of 10. It was... No regrets on that one. Love it. It took a long, long, long time to heal though. It took about eight months to fully heal, which is, yeah, like I guess average, but it just kept flaring up for no reason. Like it would be fine for a bit and then I would have to do more like saline soaks and stuff like that. So it was just, it took a really long time to heal, but it was definitely worth it. Uh, I think it's my only one that's actually like surgical steel. All the rest of my jewelry is titanium, except for my lobes. Obviously those I change very often. So that's that. Oh, I also forgot to mention my seconds are 14 gauge if you guys were wondering so that's why I don't have just like like a normal stud in there so now moving on to my right ear so I got my two lobes pierced uh, same as my left side I have my tragus and my helix so we're going to talk about my tragus first so I did a couple videos on that piercing when I first got it I think that was like in 2016 so that was my first like cartilage type piercing on my ears and I was very scared because of course uh, the only thing that I had pierced at that point in time was my lobes and my belly button and I think my belly button one already came out like the first time I got it pierced I think I had it take it out already by that point. And that was my first like cartilage piercing. So I was definitely scared and I got that one pierced at the same place as I got my date one done. So I definitely go to more experienced piercers. Definitely do your research when it comes to getting pierced because there's a few dodgy piercing shops out there that I don't recommend, but there is some that are incredible and they do such an amazing job. So uh, definitely do your research. So for that one, it's definitely one of my favorite piercings because it's the one that I've had the longest and I definitely really like it. I changed the jewelry like a month ago. Like I had the original jewelry from like 2016 up until last month and then I switched to this really pretty blue flower. This is actually the jewelry that my conch was originally pierced with. So that's what that one looks like. I really like it. I like the way it looks. I like the bigger trigus jewelry versus like the small little tiny um, like I have in my second, you know, like I just think it's cute. So my tragus, it was a 2 out of 10. I would say it didn't hurt. I didn't really feel anything. I didn't feel the needle piercing it. I didn't hear that weird crunch sound that everybody talks about. I didn't really, the only thing I just felt like I felt the jewelry go in. That's it. So maybe like a 1 or 2 out of 10. Like it wasn't serious at all. And I was very shocked about how... Like afterwards, it wasn't even throbbing, nothing like that. It's um, the only issue that I had with my tragus. So the jewelry that I had originally gotten pierced with was defective and it fell out twice. So it fell out once at home, like in the shower. I could not put it back in. It's like a little tiny um, labrate, right? So my mom and I were trying to put it back in. We had no success. So the next day I went to the piercing shop. They put it back in for me. They were like, that's super weird. I made a whole video on this, by the way. So, um, and then it fell out like two days later and then they realized that um, my jewelry was defective. So the second time I had to get it put back in, my ear was just super irritated. And I was like, oh no, I really hope this doesn't reject or anything like that. But like now it's been four years and I still have it and it's been great. The only thing that I will say is that you have to re be really careful at first with earbuds and you definitely have like a longer jewelry with that one as well. Or I had longer jewelry because it was just so irritated and it fell out and then they put it back in and then it happened again. So it was just super irritated and swollen but um yeah so that's the only thing 
with that one that that was my experience with that one <laughs> so definitely love that piercing and then the very last one is my newest one which is my helix so it is the cartilage one right at the top there that that really pretty turquoise one up there. Definitely have plans for this ear to get a few more. I think like maybe two more helix piercings, one on top, one under this one, and then like a forward helix. So that's my plan for my right ear. Also, I want my rook done. So um, anyways, so with this piercing, this is the second time I've gotten it pierced. The first time I went to a dodgier piercing shop. I talked about this twice on my channel already, but I just want to say don't go to any dodgy piercing shops that offer really cheap piercing. I had one friend that had really good experiences with this piercing shop and one friend that didn't. So it's kind of iffy and then me I didn't have a good experience obviously So that's actually where I got my seconds done I got my helix done the first time and it was so painful It was so painful and it took so long to heal the first time I got it done So it was probably like a 7 out of 10 7 or 7.5 out of 10 as far as getting pierced um, She hit a capillary so if you guys are not Familiar your ears don't have veins or arteries. They have capillaries So if you look at your ear in like really bright lights, you'll see what looks like little purple veins But they're capillaries. So she hit one of those. It was bleeding everywhere. It was super super painful and then she used like Really cheap jewelry on me. I don't even know if it was surgical steel. I have no idea because um I think it was surgical steel, but the bar was really short so it just my ear just felt like it was suffocating if that makes sense like it was swollen and the bar was too small so it just felt like it was being suffocated if that makes sense so it did heal for the most part but i had a hypertrophic scar on it and it just wouldn't go away so okay wait backtrack after i got it pierced it was throbbing and it was throbbing for like a while like a few days after which was really weird because that didn't happen to any of my other piercings I was like are all helix piercings like this because then I'm not definitely ever gonna get my industrial pierce that was the the main one that I wanted to get for so long but I've been so scared to get it done but yeah like my first experience with the helix piercing and it was like that I was like oh my god that is like so scary to get my industrial pierced. Yeah, it was throbbing before a few days after. Every time I cleaned it, it would just hurt so bad. I had to ice it, I had to take Tylenol. Like it was like actually the most dramatic piercing I ever had. And it was just not a good healing experience at all. Like I said, the bar was too short. So it was just like my ear just was so irritated and it was so painful. So I ended up with a hypertrophic scar on it. And what that is, is a lot of people mistake them for keloids, but they're not. They're like these little bumps that appear on a lot of people's cartilage piercings. And you're like, what is that bump? So it's basically when the piercing is pissed off and irritated and um, or you have a jewelry sensitivity or something like that like it can cause complications so i cleaned the heck out of this piercing like i cleaned it for months afterwards i was trying to get that little bump to go away but it just would not go away and when i finally went in to like i was having issues with my belly button ring which i got at the same time as i got my helix done i think so yeah i went to this like super amazing piercer it's the same shop that did my conch and my new helix piercing and I went there to change the jewelry. Like I said, the original jewelry that I was pierced with, not only was it small, but it was really ugly. I did not like it. It didn't have a gem. It was just like this metal knob. It looks so ugly. So I went in there to get the jewelry changed and the piercer was like, okay, this is pierced totally wrong. Like you have to take it out because it's like pierced diagonally and you're gonna have issues with your ear if we change the jewelry. It doesn't even look like it's healing properly. And I was like, and at that point I had it for like a year and a half. So I was like, what do you mean it's not healed properly? Like it's been, it's been pierced for so long, you know? Um, so I got that removed like two years ago and I just got it redone. So that's what it looks like right now. I did not have the same experience this time. So the guy that pierced me, he looked at my ear beforehand to look at all the capillaries to make sure he wasn't piercing through one. I told him what had happened the first time. I told him how my healing was and he pierced me with a longer bar. Obviously this one is titanium. So um, I love that. 
and I haven't had any issues with it so far. Let's knock on wood because, oh my gosh, like I said, the first time I got that one pierced, it was just issue after issue after issue. So this time has been good. It throbbed a bit the day after I got it done and then that's it. I was so shocked that I didn't have to ice it, that I didn't have to take Tylenol. I've just been cleaning it with uh, just regular saline soak. So I put saline on a cotton pad and just like, um, what's it called? I just let it sit at the back of the piercing and the front of the piercing. And it's been great. It's been great so far. So I've had that one for about maybe three weeks now. Wait, I forgot to tell you. So the first time I got it done, I said it was like a seven to 7.5 out of 10. The second time I got it done, it was probably like a five. I don't particularly like getting my helix pierced. I feel like it's one of the most painful parts of my ear. I guess I must have really thick cartilage up there or something. I don't even know, but um, I just, that's not my favorite piercing to get, except I want more of them because I think they look nice but um, I definitely prefer like the like inner cartilage ones, like the date and the tragus and the conch. Like those ones I feel like are less painful. <laughs> so that is pretty much it for my piercings. Currently the ones I have at the moment, I will do a whole video talking about my belly button piercing because that was my favorite piercing ever and I don't currently have it anymore and I will get into that in a story time video in the future. Also, I will do one where I'm talking about the piercings that I want to get in the future. If you guys do wanna check out my videos on my piercings, definitely check out my piercings and tattoos playlist. And I go through every single one. Like I go through, you know, like I have one on my date, I have one on my tragus, I have one on my conch, etc. So definitely if you guys want more details on each of my piercings, definitely go to that playlist and watch those videos. So I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. If you're not already subscribed, please go ahead, click the subscribe button below and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Bye everyone. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side.